Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is about changing my home screen. It's about my iPhone 7's customization. I'm going to change this theme, this black, white, and gray theme into something different. So yeah, I'm going to show you some tips as well. And yeah, we'll get to see all of the steps in changing this home screen. So yeah, before this video started, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment, turn your notification on, and share to your friends and families. And also drop your requests in the comment section, and also follow me on Instagram, it's nadina11. You can drop a hi or chat me anything if you have any question. I'll, yeah, I'll reply to your message on Instagram, so yeah, we can stay in contact. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So the first thing first is you need to find some inspirations from Pinterest or maybe some Instagram or maybe you have some YouTubers that have done this kind of customization in their video. Yep, you can follow them. And yeah, for me, I'm going to follow the Pinterest because Pinterest has been really awesome. They have like so many inspirations right there. So right now, I'm just going to search from Pinterest like aesthetic home screen iOS 14 or maybe yeah and FYI my current iOS it's iOS 14.4 I haven't updated it to iOS 14.6 because I think I'm just going to directly update it to iOS 15 when it is ready to be updated so yeah now we're going to search for some inspirations I'm currently loving this white and green. It's my MacBook's desktop and I think I'm just going to use the same thing. Maybe just different pictures but the theme is the same and I think you see this plain background. I think I'm just going to use this plain background. This is actually quite cute. This is actually kind of like the same type of colors. And yeah, I think I'm just going to do this but this home screen use this kind of leaves in the side and i think i'm not gonna use it so i think i'm just going to use the plain background and use widget smith and also change the icons and right now i'm going to save some pictures from pinterest to put it in the widget smith maybe like i need to find five pictures and we can just mix and match with the icons that i'm going to make later planning after you got some ideas if you have something in your mind like what type of wallpaper you use and what are the icons that you need to use what are the colors of the icons you have to plan it so you need to plan it using canva or illustrator or other applications that you have so you can just have the size of your iphone and you can have some squares for the icons and stuff like that so that you can see whether the colors that you are going to make is matching with the wallpaper and stuff like that so you can do the planning so here is what i have planned basically it's just something like calendar or reminder i don't know and maybe a widget it's just the exact same thing as my old theme and i do mix fonts and icons just to make it like a little bit a touch of art hmm. yep so um, in a canva I can't change the color of the icon so I think it's better to use illustrator to change the icon because if I use white I'm not gonna use white in this in this type of color so 
I need to change it into green and Canva can help me to do that so I use Illustrator to plan and right now I'm going to show you how to change the icon so if you ask me where do I get all of those icons I I search it on Google it's flat taken and here comes the website and you can search all the icons that you want for example in this for example in this home screen i'm going to change the icon of mail so i, I need to look for the icon of mail mail and search And here are the icons and the ones that I use is this one and here comes the choices it's PNG and SVG PNG is just a transparent background but you can't change the color of this black outline so you need to save it as SVG and yeah, just free download after it is saved you can just drag it to the illustrator and you can simply click this mail and you can copy this or you can just drag it it's all up to you and you can paste it here and you can change the color into white for example or if you want to change it into some kind of green you can simply just I drop this and voila you have it and you can just Press shift and drag the corner and put it somewhere in the middle. Oops. Like that. And if you want to save the icon, not the template but the icon itself, you can just simply copy it and paste it in another project. And press shift and drag the corner and if you want to set it into the center you can just simply set the align align objects like this and then after that you can export it as gpack and use artboard So what I'm going to do now is to send all of this icons and wallpapers via a drop to this iPhone. They can't compare to your Thousands of miles between still couldn't stop us. Just the thought of your love was enough. So now it's the third tip for today's customization and it's the most exciting part because it's maybe the hardest part because we need to set the shortcuts and others. Yes, so now let's get into it. So now I'm going to show you how to do the shortcut and how to have the icons in the home screen. First of all, we need to open the shortcut and then press the plus button here add action scripting open app and then this one open and choose press the choose and just type the application that you want to have in your home screen calendar press the three dots just add shortcut name maybe calendar one this is not the ones that is going to appear in the home screen so just ignore it and then press the add to home screen change the logo
and then this is the one that's going to appear in the home screen so you should change it the way you want calendar or maybe you can add spaces between to make it look cute Here you go. I'm going to move it to the last page. Which one do you think is better? Do you think just a simple mail or the calendar? I think I like the calendar one, so I think I'm just going to change the mail. So this is the result of the widget smith. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Just add a medium widget. And then add time for the widgets so it's going to work for 24 hours and now we're going to add it one by one and the ones that I used is the photo day and date and the theme is just basic theme or you can customize the theme but I'm using the New York the tint color is white and the border color is white and the selected photo I'm going to choose photo and add this plain green background and yeah it's done I don't know why I have four but yeah just add it one by one and now I'm going to add the widget Maybe I'm going to use this green drink. I also am going to add this white clock and I'm going to show you how. I'm using this time and the theme is customized. I'm using the font New York and the tint color. I'm going to use black. And the background color, I'm going to use white, border color, not safe, and apply to this widget only. Yep, that's it. And yeah, I have added this two more icons, and I'm going to change this into wait, add it. white clock so this is the final result and and this time I only have two pages before I had three pages but I think it's not really necessary so yeah I just have these two cute pages so my home screen is done and I'm so happy because it's really cute and I love the green and white color and oh my god it's too bright yeah so Thank you so much for watching until the end and if you have any question, you can ask me in the direct message or in a comment and yeah, I'm so happy and I'll see you guys in another video, so goodbye!